My name is Helen Harrison, and I founded TX Genetic Research as a way to help not only myself, but the millions of other people who suffer from conditions in which their mucosa, which is the part of the uh, tissue that lines your gastrointestinal tract, your um, urogenital tract, your lungs, surrounds all of your internal organs and glands. And so when that tissue starts to break down, it becomes leaky, and then terrible environmental influences that from food or the air can actually get into our organs and make them toxic. And so I developed a passion for several things. Number one, helping people heal their mucosa through the correct use of nutritional supplementation, but not just any supplementation. It has to be based on their genetic profile. And so I have developed a very large gene array, which is a list of genes uh, that are affecting the function of the mucosa and the various ways in which it can be damaged. And in order to put those uh, together, put those various um, genetic variants or also mutations together in a way of understanding each unique individual person's reason for their mucosa decline, because that affects a very specific diet and a very specific kind of supplementation that will help their mucosa heal. My particular orientation is what's called a tissue systems approach. This is absolutely unique. Nobody is doing tissue systems genetic interpretation. And that is, I'm looking at the context of tissue and what genes are at a specific location and finding out which genes at that location have uh, variances or mutations that are causing it to lose function or to gain function. So that throws off the balance of how the tissue develops at that location. So nobody else has developed a tissue systems approach. And this, I believe, should be done for every organ and system in the body, rather than looking at it from a disease standpoint, looking at it from a healthy function standpoint. There are three reasons why Murrieta is an excellent location. Number one, the city is committed to um, the frontiers of healthcare. And so they are attracting and trying to develop uh, more hospitals, uh, regional research, um, things in where this particular service will be able to fit in. That's the first reason. The, the second reason is the location itself. It's away from more crowded, petroleum, um, polluted environments. And this population of people tends to be more affected by petroleum pollution, air pollution, than other groups of people simply because of the genetics involved. And so we want to be uh, lo uh, located centrally in a place that is a little bit more cleaner, that has better air quality, and is not so polluted as, say, you might find in Orange County or Los Angeles County. And of course, we had personal reasons, we had family here, so it makes it an ideal location.